Hey guys, welcome to Drop Time, the self-proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest sneaky releases. We're your hosts with the most. This is Jamal. This is Luis. Make sure to check us out on Twitter at Drop Time underscore and also on Instagram at underscore Drop Time. Today is November 30th. Welcome to episode 19 of number one self-proclaimed sneaker podcast in the world. First of all, let me give you a quick rundown of what's going to come out uh, this week. On Tuesday the 1st, we're going to have the Women's Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Summit White. We're also going to have the Nike Dunk High Invert Celtic. On Wednesday the 2nd, we're going to have the framed Nike SB Dunk Low. And on Thursday, we're going to have Supreme Week 15. But the week is not over yet. On Friday the 4th, we're going to have the Women's Air Jordan 8 in the burgundy colorway. On Saturday the 5th, we're going to have the Adidas Easy Boost 350 in the red colorway. We're also going to have the Air Jordan 9 Retro in the University Blue colorway and the Air Jordan 4 Retro Sasha Co, also known as the Deep Ocean colorway. Finally, we're going to have the Frame Nike SB Dunk Low release again. Uh, but first of all, let's do a quick recap of what released released last week. On Sunday, we didn't have anything come out. On Monday, we had the Concepts Nike SB Dunk High Turn Duncan re-release. This was a pretty full t- difficult release as it has as it as it's been with every single release for the Turn Duncan. Retail is 120, current resale is 220 to 300. So we saw kind of like a shift in the market on the price. It kind of readjusted. I mean, that's but a massive still, shift. That, I, yeah. I, I did not expect the prices to go down this much. No, I think I don't think anybody did. But when I was um, doing like market analysis earlier today, I, I noticed I was like, wow, like it literally went down and from like 200, like 200 to 100, like 100, 200 dollars, depending on like the sizes. So would you say so, this um, is kind of like the beginning to the end of like this dunk hype? Maybe I can say maybe the concept hype is, di- is dying. I mean that yeah okay maybe it's that that instead of the dunks but I mean that I don't know that's just like they were they used to go for what like six seven hundred pre-release maybe it's the current epidemic I don't know there's a lot of factors at play right now there's a lot there's a lot of there's a lot of people that entered the market that don't really know what they're doing and they're killing the market yeah yeah that's a you always get some massive shift when you see a big flood of people which I think a good amount of people might be coming from like the people that uh, are reselling uh, PS5s and stuff and Xboxes, they might be coming mm-hmm. in and trying to get into shoes. Yeah, because if if they've been following drop time, if you've been following drop time, you guys are our listeners, then you've been copying PS5s and Xboxes and making a bunch of money. So <laughs> don't come ruin the sneaker market for all of us, okay? <laughs> no, no, keep keep the prices high. That's what I mean. There, there are people who are willing to pay. All the way up to like eight, nine hundred dollars for these. There's absolutely no reason these should be a two hundred dollar shoe. No, oh, yeah, definitely. This should just um, just fix the market, you know. Yeah, what are you gonna do though? Uh, but that was all on Monday, yeah. Yeah, that was it for Monday. Yeah. So what happened on Tuesday, Jamal? Anything so, fun? Uh, yeah, there was some stuff on Tuesday, the twenty fourth. We saw the Nike Adapt Auto Max in the triple black colorway. Uh, I mean, this honestly was a personal. The resale is retail if not a bit less so just straight personals not much to say about that uh uh, then we also had two different colorways of the nike zoom kobe 5 pro Tros. there was a bruce lee and then an alternate bruce lee colorway retail like always is 180 on those uh resale right now on the bruce lee sitting about 220 to 280 and then on the alternates just a bit low but also going a bit higher it sits 215 to 300 so it seems like Kobe resale is kind of just set no matter what colorway or what it comes out for a f- uh, five pro tro. It's kind of just always about low 200s, and then you'll get some sizes that get to the 300s. That's about it. Uh, when the beginning wasn't, weren't the like the prices higher for the Kobe? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. The first like two or three colorways that like, they dropped for these five pro tros uh, back few months back uh yeah those were they stayed at like three to f- three to 450 something like that but it just seems at right after those like first few every single time there's a kobe pro tro you just expect low 200s to mid high 200 so just i guess if there's ever another release of a, a pro tro just expect that's what the resale is because it just stays at that no matter what it seems I think it's it's good that the hype is dying down because there's a lot of people who actually want to wear these and not just resell them. So it, it makes it more easier to get the shoe, you know? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, th- I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I mean, 
at the end of the day, to me, I, I understand business is business. If there's money to be made, people are going to... I don't know if take advantage is the right word to use, but people are going to... to uh, buy into the market i mean there, at the end of the day, there's not too much wrong with that but it is nice to see that people aren't forcing a high price on kobe's that they are going for close to retail majority of sizes that is good yeah because like you said there's a lot of people that are trying to get these just for personal yeah they're trying to dunk on everybody just like i am exactly <laughs> There you go. Uh, but that was all we saw on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, uh, was it? I have to remember now. That was what? the day that Walmart did the restock, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so think... Wednesday, I'm, I'm trying because it's like all the days have been mixed up. So Wednesday the 25th, we saw PS5 Xbox restock on Walmart. So that was kind of like the start of... We'll go into it a bit later on about this... Uh, black friday cyber monday thing but that was we saw walmart what do you mean what do you mean this black friday cyber Monday thing there wasn't really anything i said yeah that's why i said we'll go into a bit later on we'll, we'll uh, okay. dive deeper into that topic all right all right all right a bit of stuff unless you want to go into it right now we can go to it right now if you want nah well we, there's still another restock uh last week so we can okay, go so we'll see yeah when, okay. when we talk about that yeah okay but uh yeah what else did we see on wednesday Luis? Uh, we saw the Nike Air Force One low at uh, Paranoids. Uh, you guys know G-Dragon? I think he's a popular Korean artist. Am I right? Is he? Uh, or is that a store? G-Dragon. Yeah, he's a South yeah. Korean rapper. Yeah, yeah. South, popular South Korean rapper. Um, yeah, there's a, his uh, Paranoids collab came out with Nike. This is the second shoe he does with Nike. So uh, the first one sold really sold really good. This, this one that came out. Same thing, sold really good. The hype was really ripe. Uh, came out on sneakers and the other regular retailers. Retail 200, resale 355 to 400. Uh, based on last week, when we, pred when we predicted, it just adjusted a little. I think it was like $50. So it wasn't that much of a adjustment. So this was a pretty good cop for everybody. Did. So if you did cop, congratulations to everybody. Oh, and one thing that I really liked, I don't know if you noticed it, Jamal, but we would had on, on Sunday a couple people do like a mail call. Yes, I was a really big yes, fan of that. that was, yeah, that was very nice to see that people. I, I mean, honestly, like we say all the time, all we're trying to see is you guys have success. So when, especially when people actually show in hand of them actually getting the shoe, that's I mean, that's the best. Yeah, I, I don't remember the guy's Twitter handle, but uh, he showed uh, I think like two pairs of Kobe's, a pair of Turn Duncan's. We had a bunch of stuff. And it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, he had a pretty good setup. I, I really liked the room he had. It was a nice shelf with a lot of shoes, and I think it had like lighting if i remember correctly but overall it was a pretty good video the, oh, the, the mail call so if you guys um get your shoes make sure you take a picture of them some video you know show us the success and whatnot but oh uh, yeah like i said um that wasn't that wasn't it from wednesday on wednesday we also have that we also had the nike air max one lemonade come out uh came on sneakers other reg other regular retailers um retailed for 140 current resale 140 150 so if you wanted the first uh, lemonade edition of the shoe then and you didn't get it this was a pretty good option to get it wasn't instant sellout but it was a pretty hard cop if you weren't if you weren't on your toes and you'd have notifications enabled did you go for these jamal no 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 i skipped on these uh, yeah these uh straight personals and uh, i don't want these for personal i'm not i'm trying not to yet. drink the lemonade not wear the lemonade hey but one thing though jamal do you use like do you sh uh sugar <laughs> do you uh sweeten your lemonade with sugar or with honey or agave uh uh sugar i mean you just gotta go classic water lemon sugar i don't know man classic water i guess i guess you I, can I, do it I, you can do it however you want you ask what i do i i, I mean if you want to do it different that's up to you not nah, <laughs> gotta drink the same lemonade i'm drinking i've been wondering man because i go to the drop time office dude and i open the the refrigerator <laughs> and i've been seeing some funky stuff in there man <laughs> I can't. Okay, if you've seen something that's not me, I can't remember the last time I actually made lemonade. I've All right. been just buying lemonade. I don't make lemonade. I haven't made that in, since like I don't know five, ten years ago. I haven't made lemonade. Well, there it is, guys. Jamal doesn't make lemonade. Exposed. <laughs> but yeah. Well, the in... real question is, what the heck did you find in the fridge? <laughs> 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 i think that's the real question what's the who you need to expose for that i don't know man it was probably kimberly or something i don't know we'll see or maybe it was jeff 
But yeah, so on Wednesday, we also had the Women's Air Jordan 6 Retro Singles Day. I know Jamal's looking for, uh, out for this one a lot because he is singles and ready to mingle. So well, ladies, I'm looking for this for me. I'm looking for to get this from me or somebody. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody to give this to me. Somebody to give it to you, man. Okay, I'm still looking. Yes, you're looking forward to it. I don't I'm know. Maybe I didn't say that. I got no yeah. offers. I'm still looking. And he's still looking. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and the man is still looking. But yeah, these retail for 210. Current resale 220, 300. Pretty solid shoe to go for um really moved it's really moving in north america but i, I kind of think it would move better in china since they do celebrate singles day in china not in north america so maybe they're retailing for more out there i didn't check uh the do app so or yeah poison yeah, if you have poison check out the price on poison it might be higher than the u.s so prophecy if you got that one so that's pretty much it for wednesday it was pretty solid wednesday a lot of releases a lot of drops a lot of fun stuff a lot of money to be made but Everybody knows the best day of the week is Thursday. Supreme Thursdays. That's subjective. So, no, no, dude, it is. What do, what do you mean subjective? What, dude, it's, it's not the best subjective. day of the week it's, for it's me. Not, I don't care for Supreme anymore. It's not up for argument, man. It's the best day All of the right, week. If you say so. Okay, why why do you not care for Supreme, Jamal? I don't know. I think it's just played out now. Okay, it is played out, but still, there's some sort of like nostalgia with the brand. That's oh, of been course. There. No, yeah, yeah, but I just, I don't know. It was just like the, like them selling out the rest of the company was just like the last hit of the nail of what the, I don't know. I don't know what the saying is. Whatever the saying is supposed to be, the last, uh, the last hit with the hammer nail, on the nail the, or whatever it's supposed to be. The last thing on the coffin. Yeah, something like that. I think it was yeah. just like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I, it just seems like a different vibe from the company now. It, I just don't think. I think next season, maybe they might figure it out. But I don't know. It just seems like it's been dying this season. There's there's been a trend of like the prices going downward, specifically on uh, items that have the box logo on them. Well, I, I mean, I don't even necessarily care about the resale. Just what they've been creating the culture i guess you can say the no, culture it just what, the they, what no just the actual design that they've been creating it's just boring it's just like no like before people said that there's no thought in it that they just throw something random but to me that's how it is now before there was actually thought in it and they actually intentionally did stuff now they're just throwing out something just because they know it'll sell so you think that the old Supreme is better than the new Supreme? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's... Uh, maybe people like how it is now. More power to them if they like how it is now. That's good for them if they like how it is now because that's the direction it's going in. But for me, I like how it used to be. Okay. No, yeah, that, 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 that's fair, dude. You can, you can say that, yeah. Um... I guess you can. I understand what you're saying. The brand is kind of changing from what it was originally. We've seen Supreme evolve throughout the years, and this last acquisition, uh, I forgot the brand who acquired them, but this last this last merge, it was. Uh, um, I guess you could say it was like the, it's just like the company was. It was the company that uh, owns. Like, it just took uh, them up its knees, man. It's like huh? it, it's just like Supreme. I feel like Supreme has been um, like tackled around. You know, like you know, in American football. Oh, like um, when players get hit and they fall on the floor. Yeah, but they asked for it. That's the thing. Yeah, well, Supreme. I don't. I don't. Well, actually, I don't know. Like, I get. I get at the. I get at the end of the day, business is business. If like, if you want to, if you want to run a business correctly, and you want to create a business, you have to have an end goal of sell. If you don't sell your business, you're either acquiring or you're selling. That's how you. You have to do it. You have to continue to grow. If you're not growing, you're failing. So you either have to start acquiring other businesses or you have to sell your business at some point. So it's not even about like the sellout. It's just it seemed like they gave up creative control or something. It just it's going in a weird direction to me. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's not even, like I, I don't mind that they sold. That's not even the issue. It's just where the brand seems to be taking is not it doesn't have the same sense of uh like uh it seems like it's just like a mass produced thing now it doesn't seem like it's the that, like niche anymore yeah well that's a lot a lot of things to say jamal well let's go into what happened on thursday supreme week 14 so we had the supreme cartel tricks 
It was like a box. I don't really know what it was exactly, but it just. I don't. Yo, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you what is that. I have no idea what it is. It's just I. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I looked at it for like a while and I was like, this what do you do with box? this? I would, if it's just a box, it's really expensive because it's retailing at $1,898 plus tax and shipping. Yeah, I need to look at so, a picture of this. It's just a box, dude. It's reselling for, on eBay. I only saw one listing on eBay for $3,500. And it was and it was, and it was or better offer. It wasn't like is a straight like, up just buy. Is it like a... Is it a massage table? That's what it is? I don't I know. Oh, it's a modular sofa. It's a sofa? A modular sofa bed seat with free, three adjustable polyurethane foam components. What? But there's no legs on it. That's that's what I said. So I thought like it was a, a box. So it's like a, I guess ma- it's like a mattress. I guess it's like in some countries people sit on the floor. So maybe it's like. No, there's t- not. No, but there's no legs at all. This is like straight up like a mattress. I, well, it's a very expensive mattress. <laughs> it's beyond expensive, and it's just foam. That's, I, I wonder if it's even comfortable or if it's hard. I don't know. I'll ask one of my friends, because I have a friend who just buys stuff like that. It's like, bro, like, why do you even buy this? He's like, oh, it's Supreme. <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm going to ask him. He, I'm pretty sure he got it. He's one of those guys so who buys a, everything. It's, and then have you? It's the the print on it is just all pills. It's yeah, it's not even Supreme. That's 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 the it thing. It says Supreme on it. It does? Yeah, yeah, big letters on the top. Is a supreme? Let me but see. But the print, the print is all. It's just pills. The print. Dude, if I'm gonna pay almost two thousand dollars, it better be like supreme. Oh, no, like, it does it. Huge. It better be yeah. a bunch of box logos everywhere. Oh no, it's supreme big, and then everything behind it is just pills. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. A whole bunch of pills. That's all Corona pills right there. <laughs> Man, that's scary. But speaking about scary, we also had the Polar Tech hooded sweatshirt drop retail 148, resold 220, 275, and we also had the Polar Tech half zip pullover retail 120, uh, current resold 200 to 240. So one thing that really like stood out to me was that these Polar Tech Supreme collab hoodies and pullovers and whatnot, they basically were like bogos. Have you looked at them? Have you looked at them, Jamal? It's basically like yeah, they're basically bogos. Essentially, and yeah. essentially, and look at the price. It's it's ridiculous, man. Like resale should be at least like double triple yeah i remember retail. i remember this was like maybe two or three seasons ago there ended up being one shirt that it was not advertised as a bogo or nothing like that but it ended up being on the back of the shirt they had put a bogo within the design and when people found out about that and it got spread around that there's actually a, a bogo on it it's not a bogo but there was a bogo on it uh like everybody wanted that and reselling went like crazy so yeah it's kind of interesting that this has that same aspect but it's nowhere near what it used to be back in the day yeah it's it's, it's dying out like you said but um the one thing that hasn't died out and it probably won't die down until like 2021 is uh these playstation restocks and the xbox series restocks well supposed restocks because <laughs> that, yeah that's a good j- way of putting it supposed restocks so it, the prices have gone up exponentially like i remember uh initially i guess uh the playstations were selling for like 850 maybe like a thousand dollars kind of like that was and that was pushing it a thousand was like it was pushing like it very select markets but yeah, yeah and and now it's easily they go easier for like a thousand two hundred thousand three hundred i've seen them go for a thousand five hundred dollars where in some places. in in la well, i in wish LA. i lived in la I can't sell them for a thousand five hundred where I'm at. That's ridiculous. A thousand five hundred? My gosh, that's a. I I, well, I have friends in San Francisco selling them for like a thousand four hundred, a thousand five hundred. Let me around just there. send. Let me send all of mine to them, and so they can sell them for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can do, Jamal. But yeah, these restocks—they haven't been restocks. And I know Jamal wants to talk about this because he brought up early in the podcast. So Jamal, let, let's give you your your five minutes. I'm just saying this whole podcast. This whole podcast no, is just talk, yeah, five minutes, talking. <laughs> we'll see how long it goes on. But no, okay. So it's it's interesting to me. I'm not surprised how everything went. So to me, the expectation that everybody had uh, was that all of these retailers were advertising for Black Friday. And I guess Cyber... It's not, it's not even Black Friday anymore. It's straight up just like... It's 
what do you want to call it black month it's any it's any day of the week of the month <laughs> what do you what do you want to call it black month black season i don't know what you want to call it it's just they just caught stuff on sale for a yeah, really long time go. there you go that's because honestly sales, that's what it is sales aren't even really sales they're just like no i don't like know long-term promotions or something yeah it's, it's just like they just want to sell stuff because they have a lot of things it's like one thing that i've noticed a lot are these bundles like, it's like what's up oh, with that everybody's man? pushing the bundles oh okay so we'll get into that also but okay so i You're think so excited uh, I think, well it's just it's it's interesting to me how people are acting about it and just the people i like i get messages from uh on my listings it's very interesting how these people are so i think everybody's expectation was oh uh all of these retailers are advertising for black friday i'll have a chance on black friday from everything that i've heard what ended up happening was pretty much everybody did in store and in store there was like no stock like you get maybe a, not even a handful you get a few uh systems per store so there was no chance anybody was ever gonna get them uh so ended up being uh walmart did their restock that was an interesting restock uh, well they... one thing one thing jamal though like when you said like there's like a shortage of like consoles like I saw a lot of posts on Twitter and like Instagram and uh, oh yeah, fleets. That's one thing I want to bring up. Fleets. This whole new Twitter story thing. It's kind of been getting on my nerves. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I talked to you. Yeah, fleets. Like what the hell is up with that? You but anyways, like yeah. No, I don't like the name. Oh. But okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of it. But um, I've been seeing like uh, GameStop would put like oh yeah, zero PS5s and like three Xboxes. Yeah. And they wouldn't even they wouldn't even specify like what it was. It'd be like three, and there'd be like five people outside. And I saw the one thing that just like, really stood out to me was this one guy that was like asleep. He legit had a whole bed outside of GameStop. I mean, like a whole bed. At that point, is it worth it or is it just worth paying an extra 400, 500 resale? Well, the whole, well, I've always been like for camping, even if you don't get anything, because like it's a whole experience. You meet a lot of people. But well, actually, right now, I wouldn't be for it because the whole, the whole. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Right, right now wouldn't be for it because of the whole uh, pandemic epidemic going on right now in the world. Wait, but even, okay, just like as like, uh, I mean, if somebody's trying to buy something, I'm going to take a wild guess and say the person, well, okay, I would say 50-50 chance that the person is buying to resell and the person is buying for personal. But the person buying for, I guess for both ways, is it even worth the money you can make or money you can save? I mean, to me, the amount of time that you camp when it's I like, I understand if you're buying like a pair of shoes or something and it's going to go for a few grand and it costs you 200 bucks. Yeah. Okay. You can probably justify camping, but I mean, we're talking about like a $400 difference. Is $400 worth camping for? Well, okay. Regularly, like usually in non-epidemic times yeah, no, no, I, non -epi i'm not even talking about non-epidemic like is it even worth camping for like and it's it's not you can get multiple like for I, like supreme is. so people that camp for supreme there's a whole collection that drops so they can get a lot of stuff we're talking about one system so it's just straight up like one like 400 dollars profit i think it is i think i i'd do it like if there was an All epidemic right. i'd do it because it's 400 dollars you like Who's gonna give you four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars? I, mean, I don't see it worth it. I would just try online. If I strike out online, I strike out online. I wouldn't like. I don't well, know. I'm the sort of person like okay, like when I used to be like super into Supreme, I'd go line up at the store. Like this is before the whole sign up thing started. I'd okay. go line up at Supreme and I'd have my bot running on my computer. Like I'd be oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'd be one of those sort of people. Like I'd wait in line and yeah, I'd cop online. Yeah, I'd be multitasking. Like, so if I was like camping for a console, I'd be, of course, I'd be trying to get my pairs on, like my my consoles online. But um, but yeah, once again, this is during non-pandemic times. You know, this is not not right now. You know, so but right now it's not worth it at all because of the risk, the risk factor of yeah. being out and about because you can you can, you can get sick. So that's true. Yeah, I guess. Well, the the move now is try to get them online. So make sure you have notifications turned on because you will get notified earlier than everybody else, and um, you you'll have an easier chance of getting the console you want to either to resell for personal for your, for your kids, uh, yourself, your your partner, whatnot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it.
Do you have but, anything else to add? Yeah, so, okay, so nobody really actually ended up doing any restocks. It was just some in-store stuff, and that was about it. It's just interesting to me that there was such a big expectation that there would be so many consoles available that it would be it would be easy to get them. I mean, there's, I guess, a, honestly, there's a lot of people that think that it like they should be getting they should be able to easily get one. I don't know why they're coming that, up with it, but it's people that don't know the market. It's people that just um because every single year there's an item there are, there are, there are many items that resell during like Christmas times, like anything from like a doll like to like cabbage oh yeah it's, yeah this is nothing new yeah it's, it's nothing new but people i guess people don't get the message that there's every, every year there's something that's going to resell and this year it's uh, we all knew from early on that it's going to be playstation and the xboxes and one thing that we all people that are in the know they knew that these were going to be rare there's 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 a whole pandemic right now in the world oh so no, I, I mean this was even this was even last year with uh ps4 they did the ps4 spider-man bundle and it was the same exact thing there was big resell on that also not as big as what we're seeing now it was only oh yeah i, I think 150 dollars profit but it was yeah, still well, the same exact situation the prices are higher right now because of the current pandemic and also well, because it's also just a new uh, new system. Uh, scarcity the scarcity of, yeah. of the systems but it's just like, interesting that people th like there's like there's so many people that have the expectation of they should be easy able to easily get one. Yeah, and dude, people are nasty on offer up, man. They oh, they just they go nasty. off. Oh yeah, they go off. They go off, man. This is it's, it's super disrespectful, man. Like if you can't if you can't afford it, like to pay a resale, then don't just don't message people nasty things. You know, keep that to yourself. Well, I was talking to my friend and I was saying because uh, it was like he had sold and he had sold to somebody and they were buying it for their kid and i was like i'm like what what's the i i could never understand buying a ps5 for a thousand dollars for my kid and he's like well i mean some of the parents they feel like they just need to like they don't want to hear the kid keep complaining they'll just pay for the system like you know what i would instead i would tell the kid go figure out a way to get one <laughs> and that's what you can spend your time doing instead of, instead of spend your time playing the game that I you pay a thousand dollars for go spend the time figuring out how to get one I mean that's really yeah. what it could be but th there's a lot of kids who can't really like I guess you can work work right now what you mean work it's online on the line yeah it's no there's no it's it's not work it's online it, I mean it's not they're not going they're not like going to a job clocking in they can be any age and going online trying to get a ps5 all they have to do uh, is follow us and turn post notifications on. They probably would have got one. Some kids nowadays are really lazy, man. Yeah, but all they really got to do is that, that's why we're here. We do the work even for then, them. Even yeah. then, that's true. even then, even then, dude, it, even then, like some people are like immense. Like we, we get, I don't know, like we get people DMing us like, oh, can you get me this pair of shoes? Like, bro, we literally <laughs> provide a free service for and, people and, to just. And it's there for you. You just have to check out. <laughs> Yeah, you literally just need to click a link or like just put the effort in because there's a oh, bunch yeah. of raffles that we tweet. Out. It's not just it's not just the uh, alerts. There's raffles and everything. There's a lot of opportunities for people to get what they want, but they choose to just messages. Oh, can you get me this or like? Yeah, I'll pay you more. out there. But yeah, I guess that's like, what that's what, those are the people that they have to accept paying resale. I guess. Yeah, there's 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 people there's there's somebody for any there for. There's people they'll pay anything for anything. Oh yeah, for something. But I think just for these consoles, this is this is not going to be something that ends anytime soon. I mean, you might see like it somewhat start to end after Christmas and the holidays, but I st honestly I still think it's something that goes on through next through the beginning of next year, just because we all know. I mean, Xbox and Sony have they themselves have said there's a massive shortage. And it's going to be like that for a while. So, I mean, pe people, they going to need their video games. So I don't think that's going away anytime soon. Yeah, I know. Video game, especially right now, everybody's like staying at home and quarantine and whatnot. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, in the beginning, exactly. there was a lot of internet issues because uh, connectivity wasn't the best. Oh, yeah. So what does that mean? A lot of people are online playing games, playing Fortnite, Call of Duty and whatnot. So... I don't see game gaming going no, down at all whatsoever. Anywhere, yeah, yeah. It's not going anywhere so, at all. Yeah, so just expect uh, 
expect this to be around for a while so just make sure you keep those post notifications on keep getting as many as you can exactly that's pretty much it for thursday pretty solid thursday a lot of money to be made on those restocks those game consoles and whatnot but um anything cool happen on friday jamal anything yeezy related so anything kardashian on, uh yeah uh i mean it's not the most exciting thing in the world but on friday we saw the adidas easy boost 380 in the onyx colorway so retail is 230 resale right now is sitting about 260 to 270. uh honestly these were not a hard cop um i mean they sat a good amount of places they sold out but they sat a good amount of places enough time where if you wanted them you could get them so it was kind of personal uh i think what killed it this is just my personal opinion is the fact that it had a gum sole I'm not sure what you think about these, Luis, but I think the gum sole kind of killed it. I think no, if yeah, it was an the... all-black shoe, it would have been way better. No, yeah. It is. It is. It's like the sole killed it. Yeezy overall is like the like the brand is dying. No, I just think the 380 model is kind of dead itself. I just don't think it was ever a model that worked. They only had the first color, and that was the only one that actually did well. Other than that, people didn't really care for 380s. I think it's well, just let's... the 380. Let's see what happens when it's 380 V2. <laughs> oh, you think it'll be a V2? Well, yeah, he, they keep being, they keep taking out 380 models, so I'm sure there'll be a V2 because they sell out. They sell out regardless, you know. They sell out. Oh so, yeah, no, yeah, they sell out. So yeah, it's not they didn't they're not dead. I just it's just the 380 themselves. I don't think it's a model that people care for. Well, they can change it to 480. How about that? No, the 380 I, V2 you, be 480. You can change the numbers all you. I don't think the number make a difference, but. Hey, you never know, man. Numerology, dude. It's where it's at. I'm just yes, it's, like a, it's like a Jordan. There's certain Jordans. Yeah, they'll sell out, but nobody really cares for them. That like where there's like resell. That's just yeah, like the 12. Cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, not all 12s. I mean, like the University Golds did well. We, mm -hmm. you, know, we, you know they did well because they did well for you. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just uh, not everything can be a hit. Sometimes... I mean, they're still making their money, but sometimes things aren't as good as something else. You can't have everything perfect. But yeah, that was uh, that was what we saw on Friday. What is what did we see on Saturday, the twenty eighth, Luis? Saturday we had the Air Jordan Four Retro Fire Red <laughs> Retail two hundred, <laughs> Retail two fifty to two seventy. Yeah, kind of, kind of hung up. Right <laughs> I was trying to remember, like, what were they, man? I was like, yeah, it's the fire reds. Yeah. But yeah, the retail 200, resale 250 to 270, solid resale on this pair of shoes, a good shoe to move locally. Uh, there's a lot of stock on this pair. Um, there's a lot of stock on this shoe. Oh, yeah, there was a lot, a lot of stock. I, honestly, you should have been able to get a pair. Yeah, and if you didn't, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Next time, I guess. Yeah, I'll try harder. That was pretty much that was pretty much it for Saturday. On Sunday, we had nothing come out. On um, Monday, the 30th, aka today, we had a lot of things come out. So first thing that came out was Air Jordan 1 mid metallic gold, uh, retail 125, resale 150. It came out a lot of retailers came out on sneakers and whatnot. There was a restock. So it came out, came out, and then later on, like I think like nine minutes, ten minutes into the drop, it restocked. And uh we announced the restock. We're one of the first uh restock where? On sneakers, dude. Oh, on the, on Nike. Oh yeah. 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 They yeah, loaded it on. They loaded it on Nike app, not on sneakers. It was just on the regular one. Oh well, they, well they restocked, didn't they? Uh, yeah. They loaded it on the Nike app only, and then they after a bit they put it on desktop. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, it happened. Yeah, it happened today. Yeah, it happened, and we got you covered. And people should be able. Should they should have easily been able to check out. Exactly. We also had the Jordan One High Metallic Gold. This this dropped everywhere. Everywhere. That was it a was tough hard. One, though. It was, yeah, it was a tough one. Yeah, I admit it was a tough one. I, I had it in car a couple times on Kith, and it just kept going out of stock. So I didn't get any. But uh, retail one seventy, current resale two forty. Um, we might see the price drop once people start getting these pairs in hand. But they will go up around a month. Actually, before a month, before Christmas, they will be doing numbers, and then passing Christmas. So yeah, definitely keep these in hand. I know Jamal didn't get any, unless maybe you got a. Secret nope, reason. I got nothing. No. Nope. Damn. <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah, that's sad, Jamal. I'm gonna go cry for a bit for you, man. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. You know, it's 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 hard to it's hard to cover this stuff and try to go for the shoes. 
it's kind of you have to choose one or the other most of the times. I choose to sleep. That's also <laughs> that's that's the, the nice third option. I'm kidding. Now I go after this stuff, but sometimes it's 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 impossible, man, because there's a lot of responsibilities one has to do and whatnot. So yeah, man. You but the only responsibility you have is to get shoes. That's the only one you have. No breakfast, just shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eat the shoes <laughs> for breakfast. Hey, that's pretty good, man. With some sriracha sauce. Damn, the, I can kind of eat, eat the W's for breakfast. Ooh, W's all day. You already know the vibe. But yeah, that wasn't it for Mondays, ladies and gentlemen. We had one more fire release come out. I know Jamal is super excited about this one. He couldn't contain himself. He called me at midnight. Hey, Luis, this shoe's coming out. I'm not going to sleep for two days. What do we do about this? And I was like, Jamal, just calm down, bro. Go to sleep. And that's what he did. But yeah, I didn't know. I didn't go to sleep. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, you no, didn't. No, no. I stayed up all night. Yeah, you stayed up all night. So what happened today, Joe? What, so, what was this thing you're so hyped about, man? Because so I know I know you're eating hot sauce. Just stay up. Yeah, the hot sauce is... Yeah, forget caffeine. The hot sauce is where it's at. But we That's saw right. the Adidas Yeezy 500 Utility Black. So this was a big one, a very, very, very anticipated shoe. Uh, unlike the 380s, this is a truly all-black shoe. You ain't get the no gum sole, no nothing like that. It's an actually all-black shoe. 500s pretty much i think every single colorway of 500s resells and they all have good profits so this was no exception especially all black that's what everybody wants retail 200 resell right now sitting about 300 to 330 honestly you can chime in if you want luis i think these will start to go up in a few weeks or so no they definitely will start to go up it's 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 not a when it's not an if it's a they will yeah, it's just uh, you're not going to get another 500 colorway like this unless they do a re-release or something like that, which they love to do. And we're going to be covering something about a re-release later on. But yeah, other than that, you're not getting another colorway like this. So this is kind of uh, this is uh, the, 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 the cream of the crop for colors for 500s, I think. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm sad I didn't get in a pair, dude, because I've been a really big fan of the 500s. I've been looking forward to like an all black 500 for a while. Well, Specifically, like you might yeah. have to tap into the piggy bank and pay resell. Oh, man, I really want to, but I guess I'm gonna have to, man. I've, I've there's been like it's like this look I've been kind of going after. It's like a black shoe with like shorts, like cream colored shorts. You know, I don't know if you've seen that kind of look recently. Black shoe on cream colored shorts. Yeah, dude, on the interwebs. Can't say that I've seen that recently. I've seen that back in the day, but not recently. Well, it's this whole like classic look, you know. It's coming okay. back. All right. It's coming you have back. to get them. No, I have to. Yeah, it's a must. It's not a will. It's a must. Yeah. But that was everything that we saw released in this past week, including today. We'll give you an extra bonus of what happened today. But what do we have coming up the rest of this week, Luis? So on Tuesday the first, we're gonna have the women's Air Jordan one high zoom in the summit white colorway uh retail 140 re estimated resale is 270 to 330 this shoe is going to come out on sneakers and all their regular retailers so definitely be on the lookout for that well not kinda... sneakers yet no not sneakers not in yet the u.s no not in the u.s this is the EU. it's just uh, right now all i've seen is jd and finish line oh well and then well, it's like me. uh like i think an asian like one of the one of the countries in Asia, their sneakers has it, but that's about it. Well, okay, I stand corrected. Yeah, this so is going to be kind of hard to get. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it's going to be extremely hard unless, for some reason, Nike decides to load them on their site really late. So far, it doesn't seem like anybody's really releasing them. Yeah, I don't think they're going to load them late. But yeah, if um, if you have a reshipper, you know, go on sneakers to that Asian country, and then. Uh, have them reship to yourself to the reshipper and then get them in wherever country you are there but you uh go. yeah yep that's pretty much it for that release uh we also have the nike dunk high inverse celtic this is going to be eu exclusive but we will see a us release north america release world right release later at a later date uh current retail is 120 resale 250 to 280 so a decent profit on this pair of shoes are you gonna go for these jamal or are they, they kind of like out of your comfort zone because this shoe looks kind of weird dude uh like, i mean i'm not i'm not I don't, know, I don't know if it's worth it for me to reship them but i think i think there's 
I think they're different enough and there's enough demand that they'll kind of hold their price. I think they look boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boring? That's like, there's not enough going on there for you? There isn't. They look boring. All right. They look plain. It just looks like, it looks, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, like something I would wear when I was like in like third grade. You know how moms buy you shoes that way they don't get dirty? Yeah. And then they always buy you that one pair of shoes that just gets, that you kind of like, but you don't really like, but you just want to get it because your friends have it so you can fit in. This is that shoe. All right. So there's a market for them, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> no, I, I agree. It's a tough, it's a, it's a, it's a tough wear. I don't, I don't know what alpha you pulling that off with. I have no idea. I, uh, actually, I, maybe I can pull it off, but I don't know, man. I can't see myself like wearing this shoe. It's going to be a hard pass. Well, it's going to be easy pass for me because I ain't getting it. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for Tuesday. Nothing really crazy happening on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, we have something everybody's been looking forward for for the past couple months. You know, Nike announced this collab for a while and it's for super hyped. And um, let's let's have Jamal talk more about it. So on Wednesday the 2nd, that's when we're going to see the initial release of the frame by Nike SB Dunk Low. So this drop on the 2nd, that's going to be just at frame themselves. They're going to be doing their release of it. Uh, don't expect much anything big. Don't expect you have much of a chance unless you're local to the shop. Most likely, uh, I don't think they're going to do anything big where people are going to have a great chance. But hopefully, maybe we can uh, maybe we can be optimistic and get lucky that they do something where we can have a chance. But retail on them is one ten. Resale right now is sitting six hundred to nine hundred. I personally don't see a big drop like we saw with the concepts dunks. I think these will hold a much better value than the concept ones. What do you what do you no, think about that, Luis? No, they will because they're a super different take on like what the traditional uh, dunk is. You know, it kind of has like two swooshes. The colorways are something that we haven't really seen Nike explore recently. And they're perfect for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they're perfect for Christmas, and also they. Um, I actually clicked on Go right now to get a better look at them. But yeah, it's different. Really, it's a really different sort of different shoe. So uh, I see it doing really well in the price, maybe dropping a little bit, maybe going to like the 400s, like the low oh, 400s. Yeah, I, I expect it to drop. Yeah, 500. of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll stay at the price that it currently is on the market, but I definitely see this shoe holding its 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 uh, place on the market. But something kind of reminded, like, you know how it's like double swishes? It kind of reminded me of like, kind of like Warren Lotus, what or, he was doing. Or, or the Sakai's. Or the Sakai's, yeah, but it, yeah, it's true. The Sakai's does yeah, have Warren that same Lotus, vibe. Warren Lotus is a, I don't know. I, I think he's kind of a, he's kind of a joker. <laughs> he's played out. He played himself out. He played. He's. I think he played himself. I mean, I don't know. It's just. Uh, I think he's just playing everybody. Talking about he's gonna release merch with these shoes and he's trying to play the like idea of band that he's getting sued over and stuff like that i just think it's dumb i mean the, well, he, at the end did. of the day you're making money off of copying somebody's patented design he did refund everybody well he didn't re he canceled a bunch of orders and i heard no, some he refunds was, still. He was, yeah but he was also just and then he was offering another pair of shoes with like a lawsuit t-shirt or something like that it's like i don't know it's just I think he just tried to play into the idea of banned, like the Jordans were banned, but it's not. You you're stealing somebody else's stuff and trying to make money off of it. Yeah, and there, it's not just Warren Lotus. There's a lot of brands who have been doing the same thing he's been doing. Oh, 100 percent. But they don't. But his was intense. Like his was just straight up a dunk with just like yeah. a Jason mask. Like it was straight yeah. up a dunk. There was absolutely no difference between that and a dunk. Yeah, because there are other brands like Aldo, for example. They kind of do like the same thing. Except they take the swoosh off completely and they use like better looking leather, I guess. Quote yeah, unquote. or like babe, like for like a babe stud. Like, it, yeah, it it it's it looks like an Air Force One in ways, but you can tell this is not an Air Force One. Yeah. Yep. That's 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 true. But um, that's pretty much it for Wednesday on hey, the best day of the week, Thursday, Supreme Thursday. 
I know Jamal doesn't like Thursdays. Well, okay, look... this this Thursday might be a bit different. Okay, this dur- this <laughs> Thursday. This Thursday, we have the Crossbox logo hooded sweatshirt. It's basically a bogo in the shape of a cross, like the 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 the, the Supreme logo. Do you like it? Um, I don't really care for it, but you know the height. Hey, this is supposed to be the big thing of the season is when they do a bogo, and it's a hoodie. I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling it. I I'm don't just, blame I'm just... you. I'm not really feeling it either. It just, uh, I don't know. It's like the creativity to me was not there with that. It just, it's like, like you said earlier in the podcast, they just got something, just put it together. That's how this feels. It's like, yeah. let's just do something different. And it's like somebody just like threw like one like bogo like sticker and like landed some like on the floor, and then another one and just like created a cross. Probably, like, yeah, they probably just had like this. the patches on the desk, and then yeah, and they saw they were stacked on top, and they said, "Okay, put that on a sweatshirt." <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's just do this. It's just roll with it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of it. It is a bogo, and it is gonna do numbers. Well, do you think it'll do numbers, or do you think no, it'll be I like think... the like the Murakami bogo or something like that? Yeah, I can't believe the Murakami bogos were at that. Well, it's because there were so many of them. Well, I, and I didn't get any, so well, that's sad. They're not that expensive. Mm-hmm. You can get one anyways. I don't know, man. You keep you keep trying to make me spend money, Jamal. I don't want to spend this money, bro. <laughs> then 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 just don't care for the stuff and you don't need to spend it man the one thing though like i don't really i don't wear none of this stuff like at all like at all straight up i just wear like polos all day and that's good then you're not spending 200 bucks on a t-shirt that's good yeah but yeah let's see what what, what sort of price you think this is gonna resell for jamal like like three four hundred three three fifty i don't think it's gonna go more than four hundred dollars honestly I honestly, I think it might dip it, 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 to me just with the volume that they've been selling, that they've been producing for BOGOs. I think this has a decent chance that it dips below 300, not far, but it might dip below 300 below 300. OK, I yeah, think if they do like it mass produce like they've done for the last few BOGOs, uh-huh. I think there's a there's a fair chance just because I personally don't know how 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 many people actually like think this is a great bogo i think there's just some like i i have a feeling there's a lot of people that are not gonna take this as one of a good like as a good bogo i think it's gonna bottom i think it's gonna bottom out at like um well it's gonna top at like 320 okay. i don't think it's gonna go higher than 320 dollars. that's what i think right. but we'll, we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen you know i know jamal doesn't like thursdays but this thursday he's gonna like it and uh let's see how many you get jamal how many th- how many do you think you're gonna get honestly speaking Oh, I'm supposed to be going for these? Yeah, dude. Why not? You're not going to go for them? I mean, if I have to, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I just think they're going to make so many. I'll probably get like, I don't know, four or five. Okay. All right. Let's see then. Let's see how many you get. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for Thursday. Supreme Thursday's best day of the week. But uh, we saw Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think. Something coming out. I'm not, not sure. Not Sunday. Uh, well, that, that's right. next week. That's too far. You go, oh, I you tried. Going, you going into a different different time zone. That's too much. Day, different uh, time zone. <laughs> you already know what's up. On Friday the 4th, we'll see the women's Air Jordan 8 in the burgundy colorway. This is a retail 190 shoe resell right now. Sitting 222.60. I'm not expecting much out of these. It's a, a Jordan 8 um unfortunately women's sizing usually don't go for as much as men's sizing mostly because they don't go as big but at the end of the day it's a jordan 8 jordan 8s don't really do that well there's only very 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 specific colorways actually do good i don't personally think this is one of those so if you want for personal go for them by all means i still think it'll sell out but don't expect any crazy profits off of this uh and then on saturday the 5th this is uh this is what everybody's been waiting for honestly i think all year like this is this 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 is it this is what you want to go for this is what you don't want to sleep on you better get those post notifications ready you better not miss out you better be there for every single site that drops because you want to get as many as you possibly can this is going to be the adidas yeezy boost 350 v2 in the bread colorway this is the bread colorway. This is what everybody wants. This is this is what the the this is what the the zebras used to be. 
and they're kind of turning into zebras because I don't know how many more re-releases we're going to see of these. Do you? What's your opinion on these re-releases, Luis? Do you think that that Adidas is retroing too soon, or do you think this is about the right time frame to start retroing? I feel it's around around the right time to be retroing. Okay. Because it's been a while since this shoe came out. Yeah, it's been a few years now. Yeah, so it's gonna be some like some some nostalgia. I know a lot of people okay. still want these when they came out. So one hundred percent, no people one hundred percent still want these. Yeah, like I'm gonna go for these, and they're gonna go straight to the toe. Like even if it's like, even if I get the wrong size, I'm gonna try to <laughs> trade for my size, and it's going straight to the toe. Oh, I thought you were just gonna end up wearing the wrong size. <laughs> May maybe if I get like a size eleven, I'll wear it. I'll just. <laughs> All right, there you go. Take yeah, the sole I'll just, out. Like, insole, my toes. Insole. No, just take the insole out. You good, dude? Have you seen the insole on the shoe? It's basically non-existent. It's basically, like a piece of paper. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's not like this Jordan. It's not like the Nikes, like or like Jordan specifically have like a pretty thick insole. It's like we're literally like oh, yeah, a couple no. centimeters thick. I think they just put that in there just to say there's an insole. Yeah, it's it's not it's not really doing much of anything. It's like, have you been to Aldo before? I'm kind of like bagging on Aldo today. Have you been to Aldo before and like bought in dress shoes and they try to sell these insoles? me no oh well okay one think well, i am <laughs> okay well if you ever go to all those one day or you just go online and just like see the insoles that they have okay. they're, they're like paper thin okay all right i'll check that out uh but yeah. retail like any other 350 220 resale right now it's in 455 40 so to me i think it's going to be a very very wide release there's going to be a good amount of stock of these so but you also have to consider there's gonna be a lot of people going for these so resell i think it'll still dip but i think it's i i think it still stays Let, relatively let's, high let's see if they don't do like a 2020 edition with a different color code uh no i think it, i think it's keeping the same skew well you never know no i think it is all right well it is i then. think i've seen on sites that have loaded i think it's keeping the same skew Oh, that, but that it'll have a new it'll have a new tag that's a different production date. Mm. But I don't know if that makes a difference on when you're going to sell them. We'll see. We'll see what happens on the market. Let's see how the market reacts. That's a very good quote. Yeah, that's a very good thing to look out for. But what is the other thing we're seeing on Saturday, Luis? Oh, we're gonna have the Air Jordan Nine Retro in the University Blue colorway. Current retail one ninety. Resale two ninety nine. Let's see if that's gonna stand because Jordan Nines. I don't know. They don't seem that popular to me. No, there's very, very, very few. It's like a Jordan 8. There's very few colors that actually do well. I honestly don't think this is one of them. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think this is one of them. There's still... we. Oh, yeah. There's well, um, There's one more. There's, there are two more. There's, there's two, two more. more. There's two more, yeah. So we're also going to see the Air Jordan 4 Shashiko. So this is not like a, a, a slow week. This is the time of the year. It's, it's back to being busy. There's a lot of drops. So uh, we're seeing those Air Jordan 4 Shishiko or what is the other one? Deep Ocean? Oh, yeah, Deep Ocean. Name. Okay. So retail 190 resale right now is in 340 to $400. That's impressive to me. I don't, I don't remember the last time I seen a Jordan 4 going for that high other than like, what is it, the uh, the Black Cats? Yeah. Uh, that took a while to get up to a high price. They didn't go for anything before and they sat. So if these numbers stay anywhere near this, I'm, I'm amazed. This is a colorway that's in pretty good demand. And uh, when pictures got leaked of these, it seemed like people liked them a lot. We'll have to see how wide this release is. Uh, if everybody and anybody gets them, then probably not going to see some like high high resale prices. But I don't know if they end up keeping them limited, you might see these three hundred, four hundred dollar prices stay there. But Let's see what, what happens. Yeah. What is the final drop? On Saturday that we'll see Luis. Well, we have the frame, the frame, the frame, <laughs> the frame <laughs> Nike SB Dunk Low. It's gonna be a wider release, uh, sneakers and skate shops and whatnot. Um, retail 110, resale 600, 900. Like we said er uh, earlier in the podcast, the price is gonna readjust just a, uh, a tad. We, well, we hope it's gonna readjust a tad bit. So definitely go for these. They're gonna be easy. they're gonna be hard to get, but uh, this is your second chance this week to get them. So. Make sure you have notifications enabled and all punt stuff to have a better chance at getting them. Yeah, so definitely another busy week. Uh, don't sleep. Make sure you got post notifications on. Make sure you're following us so you're not missing out on things. Uh, but to move on to the next topic. So 
I assume a lot of people watched the fight, the the May the not the Mayweather, the, the Tyson fight. Uh you ended up watching some of it, Luis, yeah? I watched the I watched the only fight I cared about was the Jake Paul fight. Okay, so we can we can talk about that then because uh, the Tyson fight, and the, it, I it, what ended up happening with it, I can understand. I'm not too surprised. I honestly didn't think he was gonna throw any big punch to knock the guy out. Like he probably killed the guy if he actually threw a big punch. And you could tell Tyson over over Jones, there was no like the fitness levels was like a a 30 year old trying to fight a 50 year old honestly like roy jones jr was not ready for this fight i don't know what he was thinking i don't know who convinced him that he was ready but uh i'm not surprised how things went and that there was no big punches but since you watched the jake paul and nate robinson fight what did you think of it dude jake paul was ready dude Nate Robinson was not ready for. No, he wasn't ready. At he, all I, I don't even. I don't think he. He's. I don't even think he's uh, throwing punches on the punching bag. I honestly don't know what he was doing in the ring. I, he didn't. I don't think he thought Jake Paul was going to come in with the heat that Jake Paul was going to come no, in. No, forget the heat. We the all guy, know that the, the guy Paul was brothers... just running at him. What are you talking about? He. He. Robinson had no idea what he was doing in there. Like he didn't know how to throw a punch. I don't even know if I can talk about Jake Paul came in with the heat. I mean, I don't know. That was just like, I don't know who decided to tell this guy that he could fight. That's the real question. I don't know, man. But, well, he is an NBA player, right? Yeah, he's an, yeah, he's an NBA. He, he was, he's a former NBA player, but doesn't even make you a boxer. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking, man. Because Jake Paul has a couple fights under his belt, and he's been training for a while. Not just for this fight; like he's been training for multiple fights before. Like they were granted, they work like against like a uh, social media. Uh, but he was saying, whatnot, but they, in the uh, po- in the post interview, he was saying that this is what he wants to do as a career. That he wants to be a boxer. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. He did say that, but um. Let's see how see how far he goes, man. Because you yeah, can't but, really judge like Jake Paul's skill against like Nate Robinson because it wasn't really a real fight. Oh, 100%. It wasn't like a boxer versus boxer. It was just boxer versus a guy, a guy who guy said he was going to. Well, I can, can you, you can't say. Well, he's not a guy off the street. He's like he's a season NFL. I mean NFL NBA player. Yeah, but that so doesn't make you a boxer. Okay, so that's the number. question. No, that is, do you, okay. do it doesn't you make think... you a boxer, but it makes you an yeah. athlete. Yeah, but okay, so do you think, because it, it started to become a big thing, I don't know if it's going to continue in this trend, but it became a big thing that all of these YouTubers and social media influencers and everything all of a sudden wanted to become boxers. Do you think that's, like, do you think that should be allowed, that they should actually like that the boxing commission should be allowing them to have televised boxing matches where they straight up don't know what they're doing. Like, like honestly, Nate Robinson could have got himself like, like permanently hurt because the man straight up had no idea what he's doing. So I, I, I don't know to me, I, I didn't even, there should be some more like regulation around it because they're just throwing some random guy in the rig and seeing what happens. I didn't even know there was a boxing commission. Oh yeah, of course there's a boxing commission. That's where they get the refs and everything. Oh, I thought they were just yeah. like no, people this they is, got together. No. no, this was no, this was this was sponsored, televised, it was pay per view event. Wait, it was on pay per view? Yeah, yeah, it was a pay per view event. Yeah, oh, you I just watched pay, it for Yeah, well yeah, you're a unique situation, but yeah, you have to pay fifty bucks to watch it. It was a pay per view event. Oh, well, that changes damn. everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I, I want to have paid for. I watched it for free because my cousin had it, but because he, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he got it, but yeah, I watched it for free because he had it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't pay for that to no, see them 100%. fight. No, but I don't know. It's just it's just interesting to me that they're allowing this stuff. I mean, the guy is clearly not a boxer, and he's not ready to. At least they should be having headgear because this guy was not ready. To be going, I don't know if they wore eight eight ounce gloves well, or six ounce gloves or what, but that guy was not ready for any weight of glove. He needed headgear and he needed no weight in those gloves. Well, let, let me say one thing though. Okay, so you're saying that 
social media into media influencers and YouTube stars and whatnot. It shouldn't become boxers. So no, they can no, they can become boxers, but there should be more regulation around it. Okay, well, okay, more regulation. Okay, okay, but let's say that we want to start our own boxing tournament because we're yeah. we're basically social media stars, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're social media. About, uh, okay, I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, if you think so, <laughs> I don't know if I can. No, we are, dude. That. All right, if you think so, <laughs> three thousand. We're like what, like um, three thousand six hundred across all our social media. Three thousand six hundred followers strong. You know, okay. our our drop time social media is that. That's pretty strong. That's that's an influence right there, man. When when somebody when I'm walking down the street, somebody recognizes me. Then I'll consider it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see when that's gonna happen. Let's see. All right. When I when when the person finally brings me the the Jordan Six uh, Singles Days, then I'll consider it. <laughs> All right. And on that note, we're gonna be ending this week's podcast. Thank you for listening to Drop Time, the number one self-proclaimed podcast that covers the latest sneaker releases. And make sure that you follow us. You at us with all of your success. You got post notifications on. You can find this podcast on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you find your podcast, you can find this podcast on. But just make sure that you're ready. This week is not over. It's just getting started. This year's not over. It's just getting started. This is the time of the year that we got releases on releases on releases on releases. And also, I know plenty of you still trying to get those PS5s and Xboxes. Make sure you stay tuned in because we got you covered with any time there are opportunities to get those so make sure you got those post notifications on always so you don't miss out on any of the craziness that goes on in this time of the holiday season on behalf of the draw time team we wish you good luck good health and good vibes all around peace